Okay, this is our last string where we're using the double number line as our model for subtraction. And if you haven't tried the other ones, go back and try them. So I introduced this concept. And, but if you want to just dive into it here, you can. The goal is to use a number line to understand these fractions and to do it in a way that's intuitive. Not mechanical, not procedural, but intuitive. Um, so 20 over 30 minus 1 over 3. How can we think about that intuitively? Well, first we want to think about how long the number line should be. And since we have 30 and 3, I'm going to pick 30. Because 30 and 3 both go into it very nicely, right? They're both factors of 30. 20 out of 30, well, we're almost saying it, right? 20 out of 30, when we're dealing in terms of 30, 20 out of 30 would just be here. It's 20. 20 out of 30. That's a fraction. And we're taking away a third. What's a third of 30? Well, that's just 10, right? Because 3 goes into 30 10 times. So 1 third of 30 is 10. The distance between these two numbers, we can think of that as subtraction. So we can think of this as 10 out of 30, or 1 third. Now we move on to 6 over 9 minus 1 over 3. 3 and 9 both go very nicely into 9. 6 out of 9 would bring me about here. 6 ninths is like 6 out of 9. 1 third of 9 is 3. Why? Well, because 3 goes into 9 3 times and 1 third of 9 is 3. When you subtract, you find out how far apart are these two numbers. And I'm getting 3 out of 9, which again is 1 third. So notice that these two problems are in fact identical, which must also mean that 6 out of 9 and 20 out of 30 are also identical. You can see that if you divide both of them down to the lowest terms. 6, 9, divide 6 and 9, both by 3, we get 2 out of 3. Divide 20 and 30 by 10, you get 20, divided by 10. And 30, divided by 10, becomes 2 out of 3. So these two fractions are, in fact, identical. And you can recognize that when you see that they have the same answer. Right? In both cases, we're taking away a third. And lastly, let's see what happens here. 12 out of 18 and 3 out of 9. Both go nicely into 18. 12 out of 18 is over here. It's 12 out of 18. 3 out of 9 is, is like, well, 9 goes into 18 twice. So 3 out of 9 is like 6. Right. Subtract so these two, and I get 6 out of 18. And I can reduce that. I can divide by 6 in both numerator and denominator. I get 1 out of 3. So notice that 12 18 is also the same. In each case, you get 1 third. 12 18, if you divide both 12 and 8 by 6, you get 12 divided by 6, which is 2, and 18 divided by 6, which is 3. So in fact, these three fractions are all scaled versions of 2 out of 3. Still the same ratio between them, but we're just using different numbers. That's a, that's a nice observation we can make by using the double number line. Alright, hope that helped.